Michael Packer a hand of awards for bringing all this together. Can you guys hear me? Because they said they couldn't hear me before. I know I'm not as low on the mic, so you can hear me now, right? All right. Uh, yeah, give him a hand of awards. Good, Michael Packer. Thank you so much, Michael. We got Mr. Michael Hill on the stage right now. Mr. Michael Hill. And what we want to do right now is we want to give a round of applause for Mr. Peter Cummings. Mr. Peter Cummings, bass player. Uh, played for many, many groups. Played a lot of stuff all through his life. Did a lot of things. He was at the Robbins Desk, did our funk R&B, and created that as well. So we want to make sure that we give him a lot of round of applause as well. Let's give him. Peter's played for everybody and anybody you want to know for. <laughs> Just don't know. <laughs> Just don't know who he played, but he played for a lot of famous people. I met him playing for Mr. Michael Hill and the Michael Hill Mob Group. Met him in uh, Long Island, actually, right? No. And uh, he supported the Robbins Desk as well for many of uh, times that I've been here. And I also want to give him the Peter Cumming Master Blues Award for the Blues Hall of Fame! Fantastic. <laughs> and I say, fantastic. Because that's what we do, the blues style, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Listen, Blue Societies, Blue Societies of New York, you know, we need all the support in the blues community we can get. And it's great to have Michael Packer leading this one. Show some love for Michael Packer, yes. And Kenny's castaways for even holding this event. We have Bernard Purdy and, and Rob Pop Rosie, John Paris. I got Michael Hill. Michael Hill, now you are in the Blues Hall of Fame. You think you were inducted uh, last December, am I correct? Yes. That's right. Michael Hill, the Blues Hall of Fame inductee right here. So let me get the introductions in now. On hot, I have Dave Barnes. Yes, Dave Barnes. Plays with Blood Omens group with Vernon Reed. And another one of my Michael Hill Blues Mob alumni. He's still with him actually. Yeah. Bill McClellan on drums. Next time I get up here, hopefully it will be for Bill's show. We're gonna do some blues mob music. But you know, it's not it's not just blues mob music. Aside from the honor of playing with Pete Cummings in the blues mob for like eight or nine years and running around in 29 countries and making four albums with this guy. Pete also wrote music for the band. And um, the, the first, we're gonna do some music that Pete wrote. And um, he's one of the few bass players, well he's a, a bad bass player, but he's written blues songs that are bass line driven. He's got a whole thing. You'll hear his stuff. This is the one and only Pete Cummings. His first one is called Heat on the Ch Highway. Yes. And um, he told me he was listening to Stanley, Stanley Clark's Lopsy Lou, and he put it together with the blues, and uh, Pete Cummings is a bad man, and congratulations, Pete.
We'll listen to Otis Redding and Aretha Franklin, y'all.
color in the sunlight before our eyes evaporating. Project with the blue showed his face. 